great big Union Jack on the front. The MV Britannia. She is a 2015 ship. That's when she was basically launched, if you want to call it that. Um, she was named by the Queen Elizabeth II. Her first captain was Paul Brown. And on the front of the ship there, I'll just bank down for you. Let me show you that. There you go. There's a bit more belly there. Is a Union Jack flag. Uh, it's first one of her kind. She's a three zero eight foot flag. So pretty damn big. Um, the people of what I'd also like to thank as well is Rag Gaming, Dale and Ryan. They helped lay numerous decks and. Also, as well, um, cabin layout and some more things. These ships get, just get bigger and bigger and bigger as we go along. Um, the total length, true length of this ship in real life is a 330 meters long. So, that's in length. So, believe me, well, it's quite a big damn ship. Indeed, quite a big damn ship. But as I said, big, big, huge thank you for Dale and Ryan, which aka they are Ray Gaming. And a big thank you to Kaylee because Bet K. Some of these decks would take the P to do, but this is basically if I was to take you over here and show you that ship there, which is the Royal Princess. Um, if you look at the whole and complete layer to the ship, she is near enough identical. What happened was they are two rival companies. That's Princess Cruises, and this one is PNO Cruises. Um, with a same as hull layout, she's basically the same. The only difference is between the two ships, and apart from upper structures and lower structures, uh, as I call it, the upper structures where all the deck layout is that goes in and out, and then in again, and then out. And if you look on this ship, which is the Britannia. Uh, she is basically straight all the way down, um, but it's a bit of like a trick of an illusion at the back as well. Um, I'll just take you down there now. Um, I'm not going to show you the top yet, so I'll just glance up there when I'm ready. But as you can see, all glass and all deck layout is all done as well. All door layout is all done. Um, own designs. I wish that blue intro could go away. But yeah, all designs as well. At the back, uh, which is also leading to Rag Gaming itself. As you can see with the back of this ship, don't ask what that is in the background there because I don't know myself, it's just a random thing what I was working on. As you can see between the two ships, there is a total big, big difference, including height and the way the structure, superstructures are built up and the deck housing is built up as well. As you can see, she's a hell of a lot higher than a predecessor. Uh, yeah, let's just go towards the back. I like how it like basically branches in, then it branches out at the top. As you can see, there's differences as well with the window layout at the back and the overhang as well at the back. Or more or less same as it pod design, and yeah, more or less, yeah, as you can see there. Yes, guys, I know what you're gonna think it's touching the ship and it's touching the floor, but being as this is not a real ship and basically it's not in water, it's basically a standard figure, then you haven't got to worry about that, so there you go. But as you can see, there's a miles difference in that ship and this ship here. Um, and let me take you to an old shot view. Right, as you can see, all her satellite beacons are in, and all deck chair layout is in as well. Yeah, and guys, she just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, the next ship we are doing to this is going to be a 2020 model, which there's no blueprints to this, so we are going to be doing this off the top of our heads. So, yeah, we'll just get through it as best as we can. But, yeah, that's enough about that ship. That's still to come. Um, I think that's just before Butlins, and I want to ask in a few days, I think, something like that. But, anyway... Um, as you can see, pool layers as well, as well. That's called the wet deck down there as well. What an unusual name, yes, I know. The wet deck, yes, you heard it. 
the wet day. As you can see here as well, um, all supports are in, yeah. And yeah, a little clever idea with the steps as well. I just thought we'd just carry on with that. Um, as you can see, all vent and ducting for this ship is in as well. Um, as you can see, funnel designs are absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Ragana, for that. Uh, Ryan and Dale. Um, little little Callum as well. He helped fill it, fill it in as well. So, yeah, big shout out to him. That's JNC Gaming on JEC. So, J for Jonathan, C for Callum. So, there you go. But, yeah. But, um, as you can see as well, a kind of our like, little first sort of thing. It's like our little bar area here. I'll just take you down so you can have a look. Our little bar area. Uh, it was a Roma come up with this. Um, yeah, it's quite a little good bar. I mean, I can't really knock it at all. It's a really damn good bar. As you can see, the table layouts as well, deck chairs and tables and god of what. Make it like that little Caribbean feel. So yeah, there you go. Then um, I'll take you to the mother of all blooming pools. What we did, as you can see here, um, it's absolutely massive. I can't say that she's not. Um, sorry about that if you can hear my wife in the background there, that's okay if you're wondering. But as you can see, she is absolutely massive. Um, but yeah guys, please hit a thumbs up for this because it does take a bit of work. I mean, yeah, I mean, sorry, I've had a few days off, but like we all deserve a bit of a break. I mean, I took the wife away and, you know, yeah. We had a good little, good little weekend away, yeah. But as you can see, I'm just scanning over the ship now. I mean, you can see the entire differences. Hey, some nice ships in the background there. As you can see, I'll just spin around now. You can see the differences between the two ships. Yes, it's the same hull, and yes, it was basically the same ship. But if you look, there's subtle differences with the bridge, with the upper satellite, with the masts. The glass layout, as you can see, the glass is blue, and the pool layout at the front as well. If you look on that side, it's like a more of an oblong shape. If you look on this side, more or less the same, but it's quite a quite a considerable, a little bit more tinier. And the uh, anchor layout as well, that's there. And yeah, pretty much near enough the same ship, but if you know where to look for sort of differences, which I hope people do. Um, you will see it, uh, such as like the mass design from the ship that's on the one side, which is the Royal Princess, which is that there, and the Britannic, which is that there. You can see the mass, it is a great, a great design compared to like our sister ships that are in the background. Well, not so much sister ships, our rival ships that are in the background there. Um, we're coming on heaps and bound with these cruise ships, so I can't say enough about it. And I've got to continuously to shout out to them, which is Rag Gaming, uh, Ryan and Dale. I mean, they've worked their little socks off on this boat. I mean, they're not ship, cruise the ship, whatever you want to call it. But, yeah. Guys, all I can say is hit that thumbs up. And, yeah, guys, keep liking and keep watching. And thank you to Rag Gaming, Kaylee, Callum. Can I say thank you now? Yeah, say thank you to yourself. Yeah, there you go. I said thank you to myself, guys. There you go. But yeah, anyway, I've been Jay from JRC Gaming. Thank you very much for supporting and watching. Hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Peace, guys. I'm out of here.